Uh, it's supposedly a letter, supposedly, from uh, Igor Larianov. Here's what he writes. The problem is more philosophical and starts way before players get to the NHL. It's easier to destroy than create. As a coach, it's easier to tell your players to suffocate the opposing team and not turn the puck over. There are still players who imagination and create creativity capture the Soviet spirit. Johnny Goudreau in Calgary, Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taze in Chicago, just to name a few. However, there are becoming exceptions to the rule. There are always exceptions to the rule. Those guys are unbelievable players. Many young players who are intelligent and can see the game four moves ahead are not valued. Uh, they're told simple, simple, simple. This kind of mentality is boring. Nobody wants to get fired. Nobody wants to get set down to the Myers, the minors. If you took a look at the coaches and the juniors and the minor league hockey, many of them were not skilled players. That's true. It's not. Uh, it's a lot of former enforcers and grinders that take these coaching jobs. Naturally, they tell their players to be just like them. Their players are 16 and 17 years old, younger when I was when I joined the Red Army team. Say what you want about the whiplash mentality or Soviet mentality, but if coaches are going to push their kids at that age, why are they pushing them to play a simple game? Why aren't coaches pushing them to create a masterpiece? We lose a lot of Pavel Dak, Dak suits to close-minded nature of the AHL and the NHL. Um, you probably think that I'm going to lose my mind over this. I'm not. I think it's God's honest opinion, but I don't totally agree with it, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, here's the thing. He mentions uh, Johnny Goudreau as the people that have the spirit of the Soviet uh, system, this sort of free-flowing, free-packed, passing, creative, the things that are really beautiful about hockey, the, the, the things that make uh, hockey a beautiful game. Uh, Johnny Goudreau. Uh, by the way, Johnny Goudreau of New Jersey. Igor Larianov said you were beautiful. You should really be appreciative towards that. Uh, Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taze, Chicago, the name of few. How, however, they're becoming exceptions to the rule. Here's why, Igor. Uh, and I, I think you don't know this because you are an exception to the rule. Um, while I might agree with you that there probably are talented players that are pushed out to play a simpler type of game. Why? Because that simpler game has less risk and it wins more often than it doesn't. Guys like Goudreau, Kane, yourself, were born with gifts. And I think what it is, Igor, you're so humble that you, don't, you think that what you have in you everybody has in their DNA. They just need the coach to bring it out of them. I'm sure there's examples you can show me where that is absolutely 100% the case. But I don't think that's the case. I think players like the ones you named are genetic freaks. And I think why the enforcers and the grinders are coaches in the National Hockey League, I think they played a game where they didn't have the talent, but they knew how to stay in the league. And they knew what systems worked. They knew they knew they were on teams, they were around great players, they were around great coaches, they understood what and they keep what systems work and they kept these guys in a disciplined area. You're probably saying, no, I'm one of the greatest hockey players that ever walked that that couldn't possibly be true. What do you know? Here, here's what I think. Here's the thing. Your country. they had like 400 million people to choose from. So they basically they have this huge country and they're able to kind of take the kids on the top of the hockey scale and put them in a position and they, that you have enough guys on your team, enough creative guys, enough with this hockey intelligence, so to speak, that they can do that. That's only because you, you could just, the, the, the Red Army team could just pick and choose and take players where they wanted to. They stacked the Red Army. You were on a stacked team that cheated. That cheated in the Olympics. That cheated other Russian teams. That cheated um, uh, the uh, um, that that cheated uh, the Czech Republic. That team was stacked because it was a political message to show the rest of the world that that, that Russian hockey was superior. Now that's not your fault, but you those weren't regular guys you were playing with. Sergei Fetisov was not a regular guy. Krutov was not a regular guy. Konstantinov wasn't a regular guy. These guys were elite of the elite world-class athletes. And I think it is just because you're so humble, Igor, that uh, that you think that, you know, they got it out of me, they can get it out of anybody. No, no, it's your DNA. No. 
Now, I'll give you this, Igor. There's a lot of guys out there that probably have had that AHL, NHL mentality to keep it simple, keep it stupid, uh, and don't take chances and beautiful that have, have had their skill game taken away from them. I, I'm, sure that's, I'm sure that's the case. But here's the thing. It's about, it's not a chess game. That's, that, wasn't a, that wasn't a hit on Russians, but that's, it's not a chess game. It's a hockey game. And I think, in fairness, um, we're not out there to make a beautiful picture. If a beautiful picture comes from it, so be it. I love what the Russians have given to the, uh, the National Hockey League, by the way. Fatisov, Larianov, Fedorov, Ovechkin. Thank you. But that's one, that's one element of the game. That's one element. I don't think you can run a team of skilled players in today's NHL on, or at any time. I mean, that simple, stupid game beat you guys at the very top. A team that beat NHL All-Star teams and that simple, stupid game took you guys apart. So I think what it is is what it's always been. You need diversity. You can't have a team full of Igor Larianos out there. It's not possible because not enough people are born with those gifts. And I think that's why those enforcers and those coaches and grinders that you properly pointed out do those sort of things. That's no disrespect. I think it's just the way it is. And I think you see people having what you have in you. Is what you have in you is what everybody is. It's just not the case. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs>